Chapter 02 A Gift of Chappals Comprehension Check What is the secret that Meena shares with Mridu in the backyard? Comprehension Check Uns, Meena shared the secret of having a kitten in the backyard inside a torn football lined with sacking and filled with sand. They found him outside the gate in the morning. Meena ne pichwaare mein taat se dhake aur red se bhare fate football ke andar ek milli ka bachcha hone ka rahese saajha kiya. Subah unhe wah gate ke bahar mila. How does Ravi get milk for the kitten? Uns too, for getting milk for the kitten, Ravi told party that he is hungry when she saw him with glass of milk. Party got suspicious so Ravi had to drink most of the milk and told party that he will wash the tumbler by himself. After that, Ravi ran and poured the milk into coconut shell and then ran back to wash the tumbler before party got really suspicious. Milli ke bachche ke liye doodh lane ke liye, Ravi ne party ko bataya ki woh bhooka hai jab usne usse doodh ka gilas lete dekha. Party ko sandeh hua is liye Ravi ko adhiktar doodh pina pada aur usne party se kaha ki woh gilas khud hi dholega. Uske baad, Ravi dora aur doodh ko nariyal ke khon mein dala aur phir gilas dhone ke liye wapas bhaaga, isse pehle ki party ko vastav mein sandeh ho jata. Who does he say the kitten's ancestors are? Do you believe him? Ans 3, he said the kitten's ancestors was the Mahabalipuram Rishi cat, which was the emblem of the Pallava dynasty and the Mahabalipuram Rishi cat was descendants of the cat goddess of Egypt. No, I don't believe him. Unhone kaha ki billi ke bachche ke purvaj Mahabalipuram Rishi billi thai, jo Pallav Rajvansh ka prateek tha aur Mahabalipuram Rishi billi miss ki billi devi ke vanshaj thai. Nahi, mein us par vishwaas nahi karta. Ravi has a lot to say about him. E. Unai, this shows that he is merely trying to impress Mridu. His knowledge of history is sound. He has a rich imagination. He is an intelligent child. Which of these statements do you agree, disagree to? Ans 4, I agree to these statements. His knowledge of history is sound. He has a rich imagination. Q5, what was the noise that startled Mridu and frightened Mahendran? Ans 5, the sound of preaching startled Mridu and frightened Mahendran. It was the sound of violin that Lali was learning to play. Page number, 28 comprehension check. The music master is making lovely music. Read aloud. The sentence in the text that expresses this idea. Ans 1, the music master's notes seem to float up and settle perfectly into the invisible tracks of the melody. It was like the wheels of a train fitting smoothly into the rails and whizzing along. This sentence in the text that expresses the idea that the music master is making lovely music. Had the beggar come to Ruku Mani's house for the first time? Give reasons for your answer. Ans 2. No, the beggar had not come to Ruku Mani's house for the first time because party said to Tapi that he had been coming in their house every day for the past week and it's time to found him another house to beg from. A sharp V-shaped line had formed between her eyebrows. What does it suggest to you about Rukumani's mood? Ans 3. V-shaped eyebrow is formed only when people are in anger. This suggests that Rukumani was very angry in mood when she came to know about the missing chappals of the music teacher. Page. No. 29 working with the text turns 1. Ravi compares Lali's playing the violin to derailing of the train going completely off track. Trying to hide beneath the tray of chilies, Mahendran tipped a few chilies over himself. The teacher played a few notes on his violin, and Lily stumbled behind him on her violin which looked quite helpless and unhappy in her hands. The beggar said that the kind ladies of the household kept his body and soul together on their generosity for a whole week. He couldn't believe that they would turn him away. After the lesson was over, the music teacher asked Lily if... Two... Describe the music teacher, as seen from the window. Ans 2. As seen from the window, music teacher had the bony figure. He had a mostly bald head with a fringe of oil black hair falling around his ears and an old-fashioned tuft. A gold chain leaned. Solutions. Around his leathery neck, and a diamond ring glittered on his hand as it glided up and down the stem of the violin. A large foot stuck out from beneath his gold-bordered waisty edge, and he was beating time on the floor with the scrawny big toe. What makes Mridu conclude that the beggar has no money to buy chappals? Ans, Mridu conclude that the beggar had no money to buy chappals because his feet were blistered. 
E. What does she suggest to show her concern? Ans. She suggested Mridu and Ravi about the pair of old slippers so that they could give it to the beggar. Q3. Have your children, she began, and then, seeing they were curiously quiet, went on more slowly, seen anyone lurking around the veranda. Quote. What do you think Ruku Mani really wanted to ask? Why did she change her question? What did she think had happened? Ans 3. Ruku Mani actually wanted to ask the children if they had seen the music master's slippers. She changed her question because children were curiously quiet and she suspected the children must have done something with chappals. She thought that the children have given the music master's chappals to that old beggar. Ans 5. The music teacher tried not to look happy because he did not want it to reveal his happiness of getting new chappals of Goku Mama to others. He wanted to show that his own chappals were more expensive and branded one. Actually, he was very happy after getting Goku Mama's chappals. Q6. On getting a gift of chappals, the beggar vanished in a minute. Why was he in such a hurry to leave? And 6. On getting a gift of chappals, the beggar vanished in a minute because he did not want it to lose the gift of those chappals. His feet were blistered and he couldn't have got anything better from that house. Page number 37. Walking towards the kitchen with Mridu and Meena, Rukumani began to laugh. What made her laugh? And 7. Gokumama always in such a hurry to throw off his shoes and socks and get into his chappals as soon as he comes home. Rukumani began to laugh while thinking about the reaction of her husband after hearing this incident and when he came to know about that they had given his new chappals to the music teacher. Working with language. Ansel. If you tire yourself now, you won't be able to work in the evening. If you study regularly, you'll do well in the examination. If you work hard, you'll pass the examination in the first division. If you are polite to people, they'll also be polite to you. B. If you tease the dog, it'll bite you. Ans 2. Today is Sunday. I'm wondering whether I should stay at home or go out. If I go out, I will miss the lovely Sunday lunch at home. If I stay for lunch, I will miss the Sunday film showing at Archana Theatre. I think I'll go out and see the film, only to avoid getting too fat. Ans 3. Don't go to the theatre if you don't want to. He'll post your letter if you want him to. Please use my pen if you want to. He'll lend you his umbrella if you want him to. My neighbor, Ramesh, will take you to the doctor if you want him to. We don't eat it if you don't want to.